This is uh, Prince Dykes here, Royal Financial Investment Group. Thank you guys for chiming in. I'm here to give you a uh, quick lesson on uh, how to set up your own chart inside of uh, E-Trade. Um, here I have my E-Trade account up here and I'm just going to go up here to Symbol. And I'm just going to type AZN, A -Z I mean not AZN, AMZN, which is Amazon, the symbol for Amazon, AMZN. As you saw, I just typed up here and this is the Amazon, which you usually see. Right, so we're gonna go over here to uh, charts, and as you go over here, you go to charts, you see a chart essentially. So up here, we're gonna go down, and we're gonna say, um, you know, you have right here, you have one day, three day, five days, one month, three months, six months, nine months, year to date, one year, yada yada. You have a time frame. Also over here on the right hand side, you have the dollar amount. So let's say if um. This is just a generic chart which usually shows up in the E-Trade, but I can use a chart to your advantage, right? Uh, so let's say if, for example, you want to, uh, you want to say um, you have a lot of technical indicators here, for example, right? So you have upper indicators where you can use the momentum bars, right? You see the red and the green there. You can use the simple moving average, right? And you can customize your time frame to say hey you know I only want to see from March 10th to April 4th a lot of people like to look at the 10 day moving average the 20 day moving average the 100 day moving average 50 day moving average and this is how you can see that so here it's saying from March 10th to uh, April 4th it's giving you a moving average it's purple it's showing up in purple boom it's showing you what the moving average is uh, as well so a lot of people like to go in they like to may see the MAC ID line for example now below that you have the MAC ID line, you know, you see your MAC ID line right below the momentum bars that you also place up here. And let's say you go on down here a little bit further and you say, hey, I want to see candlesticks. I want to say I want to have a candlestick chart. So now you have a candlestick chart with your moving uh with your moving average. So you can see essentially your candlesticks. You know, I have to do another video on how to read candlesticks and how you can use them to your advantage. This is just a video showing you how you can set up your own customized chart. And then let's say, for example, you company events. Hey, I always want to know when they put out dividends. So here you can see, let's say, not even dividends. Let's find something that you can see right now. Uh, you can do a daily chart or weekly chart. You can go to weekly, depending on how you invest, right? You want to see what this week does, what that week does. So if you go daily, you can set it up to be daily. Your lower indicators, you can see volume. I want to see how much volume was moved. I have my MAC ID line. I have my volume. Uh, let's also, I want to throw in there. Um, what else we can throw in here? Um, earnings, volume. Let's go with upper indicators. So we can put an upper indicators. Moving average. Uh, let's say you put your Bollinger binders in here, right? So now you got your moving average, you got your Bollinger binders, uh, things like that, right? Dividends, stuff like that. So also you still can go back and change the time frame. You want to go back three months, you can say, hey, okay, that's how I looked at three months ago. That's how I looked at six months ago. You know, give it a second to process the data. Boom, that's how I looked at six months ago. You can go back to, hey, let's go back to what we had uh, originally. Uh, you can customize your time period. Then let's say, hey, this is the chart I want, right? So you can go down here. Let me close some of these up here, technical company stuff, frequency chart chart tools you can go and say save settings let's say we're going to save it as new so boom you can say hey make this my default setting so you can say hey make it my default setting and you can hit the save button right so boom every time you come in to see your chart this is what it's going to show so let's say you say hey I'm looking at Amazon then hey I want to look at a uh, Walmart I think it's W sorry about that WMT I think this symbol is um, hey, I want to look at Walmart, see what it looks like on my particular chart. Give it a second here while it uh, loads up, then boom, you have your seeking. You can see what it looks like on your Walmart chart. So you have your own customized chart now. And then let's say if you want to go to, let's type in uh, Apple. Let's use AAPL, some AAPL, and you can use this exact same chart to maybe do your strings. So when you have your strategy or uh, whatever it is, this is how you customize your chart. You can go through, see your symbols to see um, which you know whatever strategy you're using or what type of technical data you like to use and you can customize it also another great tool they have over here I'm just taking a little while here to load up my uh, Apple but that's okay but also you can have it compared to the Dow 
I want to see how it looks compared to the Dow or whatnot, right? So you can click on here, your upper comparisons, and you can say, hey, I want to look like what is compared to the Dow, and it'll run it on here. You can say, hey, I want to look like what is compared to other companies in the industry, what they have, Colger, that's compared to Walmart. You can see how it's running through other companies in the industry. You can save it if you want to, or just put on my app. I guess my computer's a little slow right now. But uh, this is Apple, and you want to compare Apple to the Dow. Boom, you know, it compared to the Dow, which is not much it's saying right there. But um, this is just a way you can customize your chart, play with it. There's a lot of tools on here you can play with. You can customize your chart, and um, I have my own personal customized chart that I go through and I, things I like to see. Um, and you can save it. You can save a couple charts. You know, you don't have to save this one. You can save a couple different charts. Save chart settings. You can save three or four charts. And you can run down these charts as you're doing your technical uh strategies or research i would say technical research i like term i like to use but um just a quick video how you can set up your own customized chart and how you can use it to your benefit thank you very much have a nice day